this is the mo need study it's a we had done a previous study called the need study and this is a subsequent one with a different cohort of uh, women enrolled uh, during pregnancy and we had uh, in the study both women with epilepsy and healthy mothers and we also had a control group of women, of women that were not pregnant that had epilepsy and those were for various different aims of the study uh, like seizure outcomes or morbidity in the maternal morbidity kind of problems but in this poster we're pay, we're presenting the results of breastfeeding and uh, so the study had about 280 for women with epilepsy, and, uh, children of women with epilepsy, and 87 children of healthy women. And the mothers were fairly well matched. Uh, we adjusted during enrollment to try to keep them reasonably similar, although there are some, some, some differences we can control for those. And then we're looking in this paper as the effects of breastfeeding in the women with epilepsy. Uh, on their children. Some of the women breastfeed, some didn't. It's about, it was about less than 50% breastfeed, as I recall. Uh, there's a mixture of drugs here. The most common drugs used were lamotrigine, levotracetam, and some of the other more common drugs were carbamazepine, oscobazepine, zemisimod. And then there was a mixture of lesser drugs, and there was also a mixture of variety of polytherapies, although the most common polytherapy was a mixture of dual therapy with lamotrigine and levotracetam. So what we we looked at uh, the cognitive outcomes in the children that breastfed, and we found no difference between those who breastfed and didn't breastfeed in terms of uh, outcomes. Um, so this is very reassuring because there had been a theoretical uh, concern that exposure to the anesthesia medicine during from breast milk would be detrimental uh, to the child. The, it, 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 the means, although not significantly different, were actually uh, better for breastfeeding than no breastfeeding. And it may turn out that later it's significant. Our findings are consistent with prior studies, including our own Moni study that had a different cohort and different set of drugs including carbamazepine, lamotrigine, but also phenytoin and valparate. And even valparate, which is known to have adverse effects for cognitive outcomes in children, uh, we did not see additional adverse effects from the breastfeeding in women that, in children that already been exposed in utero. Similarly, the uh, a study by Bibi in, from the Norway registry uh, found that no adverse effects at three years of age of breastfeeding. Uh, we did follow in the need study the children out to six years old. We plan to do that here. And at six years of age, we actually found a positive effect of breastfeeding on cognitive outcomes. So overall, uh, and, and in addition, I forgot, we recently published a paper looking at the actual blood levels in the children, which is seldom done in, in the literature. And what we found was that oh, almost always the child's uh, blood levels are substantially less than the mother's blood levels. Uh, they have to take in the milk, absorb it, and then their metabolism is much higher in the mothers. And so they get rid of the, of the drug. And so the result is they have fairly low levels. And so if there is a problem with a drug, I think it's more likely to happen in utero when their levels are very are exactly the same as the mother. It causes the placenta to get the same level as the mother. But by the time they're breastfeeding, now they're separate and their metabolism is still high. And the levels are much lower in the mothers. So I, in my practice, strongly recommend, recommend women breastfeed because if they want to, because of all the positive effects, these are other kind of effects separate from, from, uh, from, uh, from concerns about negative effects of the drugs, which we've not found. Uh, there's things like in the child reduce lower respiratory tract infections, reduce dermatitis, asthma, ear infections, gastroenteritis, obesity, diabetes, leukemia, SIDS, enterocolitis, and, and some evidence even for cognition in the general population. And then there's positive effects for the mothers, reducing diabetes, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and postpartum depression. So given all these positive known effects and multiple studies now showing that there's not a risk to the breastfeeding, uh, again, I would recommend that women breastfeed if they want to. And no one should discourage them from that. Um, in that, for some concern about cognitive side effects to the baby.